What's up, my friends? I pray you're blessed that you are standing strong in your faith. So the question before us is this. The jacket that DeMar Hamlin was wearing on Super Bowl Sunday when he came out on the field and he was there just to thank all of the people who helped him get better, because it's a miracle that the guy survived going into cardiac arrest after giving, you know, CPR for nine minutes on the field a few weeks ago when they were playing the Cincinnati Bengals. We well, came out of Super Bowl Sunday, and of course the crowd, everybody was celebrating the fact that he's alive. It was a huge thing, a total miracle. As far as I know, the Hamlin family are believers, but the thing that people were ripping on Demar Hamlin was was that he was wearing a jacket that had this imagery of Jesus and on the backside, it said eternal. So if you've missed it, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the front end. And during this time when he was wearing this, he was being embraced, as you can see from all of the people at the hospital. And of course, a lot of the medical uh, staff at the Buffalo Bills, they're just giving him hugs and so amazed to see how well he's doing afterwards. But the big, huge thing was that he was wearing a blasphemous jacket. The Christian Post was responding to this whole thing, saying, did DeMar Hamlin wear a jacket mocking the death of Jesus Christ during America's biggest sporting event? Now, if you look at it a little bit closer, there's a couple things. Number one, it says here that the brand that he was wearing is known as the Eternal Saint Youth Embroidered Unisex Bomber. So it's a varsity baseball jacket. It's designed by Kanye West, who professes to be a Christian. It sale, it's, you know, sells about $175 online. Some people are saying it's $3,600. But here's the point. Okay, so let's just break this down because a lot of people are coming out saying it was blasphemous. Like I said, as far as I know, the Hamlin family profess to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So let's get into this and see if, in fact, this is blasphemy. There's a lot of people already on YouTube saying that it is, and they were counting all the ways as to why they believe it to be the case. Now, it says the jacket has the word eternal stitched above what appear to be reproductions of flannel Velcro characters commonly used in Sunday school lessons. The central character was a crucifix of Jesus with a bizarre, almost grotesque, cartoonish rendition of his face and blood dripping from his hands and his feet. Okay, now. Here's what we have to understand is a couple things. There is a style, okay? So one person says, DeMar Hamlet was not wearing a satanic jacket, okay? So number one, was not satanic. Number two, uh, is it blasphemous? Let me just say this. Would I wear something like this representing my faith in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior? No. I do think that some of this soft versions of Christianity or, you know, again, iconoclastic stuff when you're when you're trying to frame uh, visions or imagery of Jesus could be very dangerous. It could become sacrilegious. It could become idolatry. Uh, it could be a form of blasphemy of how you're portraying, for example, Jesus is my buddy. Like, I don't like those kind of things. Jesus is my homie. No, the Bible doesn't teach that sort of thing. It's kind of bringing Jesus down to our level. That is wrong. Now, I'd say this. If you look at this and what this person saying, it says on the left is what he wore, right? Where it says eternal and has Jesus on the cross and depicting some of his attire. And on the right is the same designer. And you can kind of see this trend. It's not satanic. And the other one says, choose your savior. Well, if you go, uh, you know, step further and you go to their, their website here, uh, Takeshi Makarimi, if I'm saying their name right, men's outwear listings, you can see it right here, uh, the jacket that he wore. Because of the popularity of it now, it's gone up to $6,000, okay? So this is a varsity stadium jacket. You can see the front cover of it here. But again, you can also see different designs that this company or this designer puts together. And so they're kind of splashing this kind of, you know, retro you know, uh, kind of bizarre Picasso looking mixture of Jesus and his faith. So the question is, is this blasphemy? Well, let me just say this. Number one, in reference to what his quote was saying on the front. Okay. And that's something the Christian post here was talking about says without end or beginning, there is no day and there is no night. Okay. It's stitched on the in, in cursive in his front. And, and, you know, as, as far as we can know, this is referencing maybe two key passages in scripture. Again, the, the, the word eternal was on the back over arching the imagery of Jesus on the cross. 
the 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 one verse we can allude to possibly that that the jacket was representing is Hebrews seven three. We're talking about Jesus comes from the line of Melchizedek. It says he is without father, mother, or genealogy, having neither beginning of of days nor end of life. Okay, that that may be referencing what was on his jacket. Again, not satanic. Okay, the other one is Revelation twenty two verse five. And night will be no more. They will need no light or of lamp or sun for the Lord God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. So here's the bottom line. And this is what I want to kind of end with all of us uh, right now. We cannot overlook the fact that DeMar Hamlin professes to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. That's all I know. Okay. I saw the interview he did with Michael Strahan how he believes that God, and I know that it could be general or generic, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt because he's a believer in God and he believes that God allowed that to happen to him. And through this, God's going to use it for his glory, not DeMar's glory, but for God's glory. So he recognizes that. The other thing I'd say this, we can so quickly jump to conclusions. I wouldn't personally wear something like this, okay? But we also have to understand where people are at in their sanctification and their relationship with Jesus Christ, their maturity level. You know, maybe DeMar, it's just a style and he was showing it. He was trying to show in a very colorful way um, his faith and, and wearing it literally on his sleeves to let the world know that he is a Christian man. Okay. If that's the case, which it seems to be because Adrian Peterson went after him and was like, dude, that's not cool. That was blasphemy. Then he contacted him afterwards and, and he said afterwards, hey, you know what? I was wrong. That was not DeMar Hamlin's intent. He was not trying to blaspheme the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's leave it at that. And the last thing to say before I get out of here is in James chapter four, we are told verse 11. Notice what this says. It says, don't speak evil against each other. Dear brothers and sisters, if you criticize and judge each other, then you are criticizing and judging God's law. But your job is to obey the law, not to judge whether it applies to you. God alone who gave the law is the judge. He alone has the power to save or to destroy. So what right do you have to judge your neighbor? I think that applies in this instance. We quickly we, we missed the blessing and the miracle of this man's young life that was, that, that was spared and all the people who got on their knees and prayed for recovery. At that moment, people were looking to God and DeMar recognized that. How are we saying that this is satanic? And how are we even saying that his jacket was blasphemous like this man is a non-believer? We have to be careful with how we criticize. Again, that's someone else's preference of how they want to represent, okay, their faith and their attire and their apparel, all right? People have the freedom to do that. I would recommend that DeMar maybe be careful in how Jesus is perpetrated or portrayed, okay? But beyond that, let's give thanks that this young man's life was spared. And through what happened to him, many people were actually looking to God and saying it's a miracle and that can jumpstart a conversation to share our faith with those people who are seeking and searching for answers. So hopefully that helped you guys in the process of whether or not that was a blasphemous jacket or not. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, keep standing strong, my friends. Mm -hmm.